Alright, so there might be some people that want to put a high score table into their bouncy ball game. Isn't that right, Artie? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do it nice and fast, because all the videos that we tried making before this are super gay, and they don't work. So you need a sprite. Uh, the sprite won't be shown, so it doesn't matter what the sprite is. Just make the stupid sprite that ha is the same size as your grid. And then make an object with the sprite. And then add an event, a creation event. And then when you create the event, you want something to happen. Arthur, what's supposed to happen? You need to set a variable named time eight. That's right. So we need to set variable time eight to sixty. I can't talk to you right now, Wyatt. Yes, speak to the assistant. Uh, we set the variable. Then we need to set an alarm because we don't want the variable to sit there at sixty. And we need to make it so that. So, we have the alarm, and then and then what do we do, Artie? We set the alarm to 30 steps. That means every second in most states. In alarm number zero. Okay, and then we need to go control a block, and then we need to set the variable of time 8 to minus 1 relative, and that'll put it down one second. All right. That that seems about right, right? That's all I need. Oh, and you also need to check. Oh, wait. Why do you have to check one point? Because what if you want to add something later? It's not even a question. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. There. Okay. And now, step. Every single time you step, every single time there's a step, which is 30 sec, 30 frames, right? No, 30. No, one frame is a step. This is a stupid way to say a frame. Every frame. We need to check the timer is zero. So we're doing a check. Time eight equals. Okay. Is less than. Or equal to zero. All right. Uh, good. If it's true, then what we need to do is we need to show the high score table. Boom. Show the high score table. Uh, no background, because there is no background. Uh, border. Don't show or show is whether you want to show it or not. Obviously. And the font, which is currently Times New Roman, which sucks ass, as my associates might put it as. So we'll use Arial. Okay. Good job. We show the high scores table. And then we need the game to restart. But we need to put blocks in. Otherwise it'll only do show the high score table. Just like that, right? Yep, 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 yep. Now I'm missing. Otherwise it will restart the game no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Now, you don't want to be questioning whether the time is high or if the time is low. So we need to show how much time is remaining on the screen. Now this is easily achieved by creating a draw event. And then you go to draw and then you draw something, a text actually, to be perfectly precise. And then you draw time, eat your sucker. You draw time remaining space. No, no. Let's go colon space and quote space plus space. Uh, what what is it? Uh, string. string. Open parentheses time eight variable name. Oh. At x one. Um, Half of the middle of the screen. Okay. So 160 decimal 000, zero, zero oops 000 zero, 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 star 2 and then you set the y to 64 okay 32.0000000000000000 star 2 okay but you want to set the color 
because if the color is bland, then who's going to play your game? Nobody. That's right. And set the color to red because it looks good on top of green. And then you got to set the font because the regular Times New Roman sucks. Font zero currently is set to. Would you believe it? Ariel. <laughs> Artie. And now yeah. it should work just freaking fine without the voice. We forgot to put the object in the room. That is a common mistake. All right, and uh, but just 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 for uh, simplicity's sake, I'm gonna set the timer to two seconds, so that you can just see what it looks like. Well, shit. I did not. So. How do I start the alarm? Seriously? Yes. So I gotta put that in both? Yeah, that makes sense actually. And Kazingo! Oh yeah, we still have the high score table. Why do we still have the other high score table when I just reset it? Or like completely redid it? Whatever. And then it resets and it wants another one. But guess what? You friggin' suck, so it doesn't get to be. Bye! Bye! <coughs> Bye from Captain James.